Hi guys, welcome to PSP tutorial series. In this video, I will show you how to connect uh, to your MySQL database. Okay, now let us go to our editor. And in order to connect to your database, first you need to create a file called db.php. This is your configuration file. Okay, here you need to put the put your connectivity code. Okay, uh, after connectivity is done you need to come to your index.php and and write the code to show uh, success or failure message okay before uh, or of this you need to create a database okay? i have created a database here see i have a database called php you can see here i have a database called php tutorials and in that I have created a table tuts okay if to create a table you just need to first of all I will tell you how to create a database click on that to create a database click on databases uh, enter your database name and then click create and then a database will be created and then go inside the database come here see click on this database uh, this is the one which I have created click on that now here the it will ask you to create a table enter the name and then enter the number of columns you want for that table and then click go it will ask you then it will ask you to enter the column names okay and then uh, enter uh, where care or data type of each column okay uh, let me do one thing I will create one sample database okay sample i want four columns okay here you see this is what i was telling create an id each, uh, each table will have one uh, id which will be uh, primary uh, key incremented auto incremented key then name oh, sorry name phone address then this will be in the of integer this will be type of worker phone number will be of type of worker address will be of type worker okay, here need to mention the length i want 50 to be the length of each column now come here now set all these things as it is and don't make it as null here auto increment i uh, click uh, check this one id because I, uh, I want my id to be get incremented with every record and yeah that's all okay now i have created one table now let's click save okay now see so you can see you have created one table but i'm not going to use this one i am using this one touch okay this is the, the this is the procedure which I have shown you to create a database and table. Now come to your editor. Now here you need to create a configuration file. Okay, just connection first to MySQL connect. Here you need to pass parameters. Here you need to pass your server name, yes, which is localhost. I'm working on localhost, and then username. My database user is root, and I don't have any password set for my database. Now, come. okay. So you have to select your database. MySQL select db okay now here you need to select your database name and you have to pass this connection string paste here, paste here and now select uh, enter your database name my database name is you can see here php tutorials i'm going to write my database name see here i have created a connection uh, for my database now i need to use this connection in my index.php because this is the file which I will be uh, displaying in my front end. Here you need to 
call this file to call a file one file in uh, another file in php you need to use a function called include once just type a name db dot php okay my file name is db dot php to connect uh, my connectivity file or configuration file here you need to write the code like if is set dollar underscore host submit all these things i have explained in my last video tutorial guys if you want to know about all this coding you know refer to my past video now username equals to copy this paste here username okay copy come down and paste twice phone now next is address phone address now here you need to check your connection if you can you have see i have a, uh, i have assigned my connection to this con variable now copy this come here okay if this connection variable is not set or uh, connection is not been set uh, to our database it uh, in that case i want to show a message called connection not established okay else copy okay, and i'll say connected to database okay now let us see here we have a configuration file where we have uh, given all the details or uh, server name uh, username and then i have given a uh, database to which i am uh, i want to connect okay. now let's test our database now it, will, it should uh, if uh, if everything is fine then it should uh, show me connected to database if there is any error then it should sh uh, show connection not established okay now okay connected to database it means we have successfully connected to database now let us make some changes to our configuration file localhost database one okay let us change my database which is not exist fresh See here it's showing connection not established because I have given here a false database name. Okay, guys. Uh, okay, guys. This is how you need to connect your database. Okay, this is the code and this is the configuration settings. Uh, okay, I hope you understand how to connect uh, to your database in PHP. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching, guys.